Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. And uh, today's Saturday, January the 4th, 2020. I thought that we uh, could have a few videos. A lot of you enjoy the top tens that I do and stuff like that. And a lot of people ask me all the time, you know, what are some of your favorite frequencies? What are they all about? So on. Uh, so today there's going to be a few videos about that. Um, the first one that I'm doing now is about something that you might have come across many times wondering what this could all mean and what it could all be. And it has to do with what is called the High Frequency Global Communication System from the U.S. Air Force. And sometimes you'll see that people post in the groups, oh, EAM, which is Emergency Action Message. So what's that? What are they exactly? Basically, the high frequency global communication system is a network of single sideband shortwave transmitters of the United States Air Force. It's used to communicate with aircrafts in flight, ground stations, and some United States Navy surface vessels. All the worldwide receiving and transmitting sites of the system are actually remotely controlled by the Andrews Air Force Base and Grand Forks Air Force Base. Basically, there are several frequencies that often are pretty much in sync with the same message. So where and how do you listen to these and actually can you understand something? These are pretty much phonetics that are sent out. They're really encrypted messages. You don't, we don't really know what they actually mean, but for the U.S. Air Force and the U.S. Army, it means something. So... The primary frequencies that you can listen to those are, so remember propagation in general is, you know, daytime higher frequencies, nighttime lower frequencies, gives you an idea of maybe where you want to listen in. So we have as frequency number one, 4724 upper sideband. The other frequency is 6712 upper sideband. Once again, like I was saying, they often have the same messages. So if you tune around these frequencies, you'll see that they often carry. But frequencies can also be autonomous. Some of them might actually have traffic not heard on other frequencies. Also, 6739 upper sideband is another frequency. 8992 upper sideband is another frequency. 11175 and 13200 and finally there's the highest one that you can uh, listen to is 15016 all frequencies are in upper sideband and basically uh, you will have most of the time phonetics but sometimes you can have telephone calls from aircrafts sometimes you will have other types of uh, stations actually uh, communicating with each other so this is kind of fun for that it gives you a uh, you know inter interesting thing to uh, kind of mysterious military signals to listen to and um, while I'm doing the video there's nothing happening but you know what there's quite often a lot of traffic on these frequencies so just tune some of these frequencies leave the radio there on those frequencies you are going to receive some of these messages and they are often sent not just from the united states but they can be sent from many places around the world so there's uh air force bases in guam there's of course um andrews in uh, maryland you have the ascension islands that there uh there's possibility of having some stuff coming from there there's diego garcia in the indian ocean um it could be hawaii alaska portugal can come from Puerto Rico and even Japan so and California so you know because of all the bases around the world you actually can hear these from almost anywhere around the world depending on where the traffic comes from and there's always one frequency that propagates so uh, it's I don't I don't think there's ever a frequency that you can't hear on the um, US uh, Air Force global communication system so tune around Check it out. You might be surprised what you can hear. Once again, the frequencies 4724 6712 6739 8992 
11175, 13200, and 15016. I'll post the frequency list in the description below the video so you can actually tune and listen to some of those. And why not share it on a Facebook group? Say, hey, I listened to my first EAM. Or maybe I listened to a phone patch. And uh, there's even some stories of Air Force One, the president's plane sometimes, that can identify and have uh, calls on those frequencies. So this is the first in a series of videos I'm posting today of my top frequencies that I kind of like to listen to. And, you know, you don't always have to understand what they're saying. Just the fact that you're listening to, you know, U.S. military is already something mysterious and interesting to, uh, to think about. You know, you're part of some action somewhere around the world. It's kind of, you know, cool when you think about it. Enjoy my videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.